Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kradash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I want to read the bottom of the screen for you, brothers, here. And of course, this is in reference to the New York Whole City Food Riots, as it's stated at the bottom of the screen here. New York City riots after Whole Foods scan Pompeii. Mark of the Beast is coming. I'm not sure who this young Jake is, but he is absolutely correct. I want to rewind his video, or should I say his TikTok, back, back to the very beginning so we can get what he has to say in context. Bear with me one second, brothers. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I warn you? I told you by the end of this year, they said all Whole Foods supermarkets, you will have to do hand pay. You will have to have your palm to pay. You will have to have a chip in your skin to pay. Everybody in New York City is riding against it. I want to pause this here because we all know that YouTube is very sensitive in reference to videos being posted and they will take your video down and give you a strike. But nevertheless, we all know that this young man, this young man, this young Jake here, he's referring to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 and 17. But I want to show you what that looks like in function and in practice, what he's referencing here, right? Watch closely. So this man saying that he don't got to use no credit card or nothing to pay for this water right here. Oh, I didn't hope you cover anything. Bye. Oh, I, I, I got my, okay, thank you. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. saw that brothers right and I'm going to share this with you if you can't see that this is Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 through 17 coming to life coming to life pardon me the Lord is not dealing with you his spirit is not on you okay there's many camps there's many teachings out there that the mark of the beast is sin the mark of the beast is embargo the mark of the beast is 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 is, is sleeping with white women there's so many theories out there but those of us that understand the knowledge and the truth of these scriptures, we know and we see the writing on the wall here. Now, I'm not trying to hype myself up to be some great man of the Lord, but this is why the Lord is dealing with an elect of Israel, a small remnant, one third, because the two thirds are not going to get this, man. Okay? We're keeping our, our we're like those wise virgins. Who keeping our our lips trimmed here but nevertheless let me just, let's jump right into the scriptures i don't want to do a lot of talking here except utilizing the precepts to prove the point revelation chapter 13 verse 16 and 17 and it reads it all it also forces all people great and small rich and poor free and slave to receive a mark and the mark there that is referring to is the karagma Okay, you look at the of the word karagma, it just simply means a thing implanted underneath the skin. Okay, you look at the word karaks, the base word, it's a control modulator. Let's, conti let's continue reading. To receive a mark on their right hands or in their foreheads. Okay, we already know that Elon Musk is working on a brain chip to go into your brain. It's pretty, it's pretty common, it's common knowledge. Let's continue. So that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark which is the name of the beast or the number of its name see this is why the scriptures state that that this here revelation chapter 13 verse 18 this calls for wisdom okay and that wisdom comes from on high from the heavenly father the, the holy spirit will be on you helping you and making you understand what's going on around you that prophecy is being fulfilled It'll give you that eye salve to see that, that, hey, this is scripture coming to life here. Okay, let's come out of this because we don't want to be like those foolish virgins that makes all sorts of excuses. We want to be with those sealed with the mark of exemption. 
like in Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4 and it reads and this is when the Lord is talking to an angel because the angels of the Lord travel to and fro across the earth right and it, and it reads here and said to him go through the city of Jerusalem because Jerusalem are people before it's a place in Jerusalem the people of Israel are scattered into all the four corners of the earth right and it says put a mark on the foreheads that's that spiritual mark of those who grieve and lament over all the detestable things that are done in it we're grieving and lamenting but also we're excited too because we know that the coming of our Lord draweth nigh what I want you to do is look that up in the blue letter Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4 as I have it pulled up here brothers and let's go down to where it says a mark right Strong's age 8420 Tav Tav right Tav now you want to look that word up this is what we want what does that mean in Hebrew Tav is the last letter of he of the Hebrew alphabet meaning mark sign omen or seal because we are will be sealed with the proper and the full understanding right it is the symbol of truth perfection and completion because the Lord will give us the complete truth he give us the perfect truth right even the Lord and I'm gonna paraphrase this he says I am the way the truth and what the life man the Lord is not gonna leave the elect like the scriptures say states brothers the elect shall not be deceived man we're not deceived we know what the hell is going on around here man okay Let's come from there. This, this is the group we want to be in here, brothers, as, as, as the end draw of nine. Because this is going to be us, if the Lord wills. Revelation chapter 14, verse 1. Then I looked, and therefore, <clears throat> pardon me, pardon me, getting excited. Then I looked, and there before me was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion. And with him, 144,000. We know that's the governing body, the men of Israel, right? Who had his name and his father's name written in their foreheads. Again, that's us being sealed with that understanding. Like the book of Proverbs says, what is his name and what is his son's name, if thou can tell? We'll know the name of the father. We'll know the name of the son. We'll have the proper understanding of Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 and 17. Right? We'll have it. We'll have it all, brothers. Right? Let's let's go from there. Let's go from there. There's one more. One more I have for you, brothers. Um, oh, man. Bear maybe one second. One, one second, brothers. All right, brothers, I'm back. And I had that last, I have that last precept for you, brothers. Quick little lesson here, brothers. All right? And we'll finish with Revelation chapter chapter 3, verse 11 and 12, all right? Because as I mentioned previously, brothers, we got to be like those wise virgins, right? Enduring to the end. In Revelation chapter 3, verse 11, it reads, I am coming soon. The Lord is on his way, brothers. Hold on to what you have, meaning that proper and clear understanding so that no one may take your crown. Let's continue, right? The one who is victorious, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. Meaning we'll never be moved, brothers. That goes into that immortality we're going to get. Never again will they leave. I will write on them the name of my God. Right? Meaning that goes into that seal, brothers. Man, it's like you can see it through the spirit as you're reading these scriptures. And the name of the city of my God. Because remember, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. All right? The new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. We know the name of God is Yahweh, And I will also write on him my new name. Not the Lord is going to have a brand new name, but we're meaning we're going to know his name. We're going to understand that he is our salvation. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Hope this was edifying to you, brothers. Shalom.